Hey Joe fans, I'm JoeFan82 here with another action figure review. Today I'm looking at the 2018 JoeCon exclusive Python Patrol figures. These guys came in the box set along with Slaughter's Marauders. These guys have a great black and red Python Patrol paint scheme going on. Let's take a closer look at the Heat Viper. He's got a black and silver helmet, gold on his midsection, and the that black and red paint scheme. Black boots, gray knee pads, and those signature missiles on his ankles. He still has his uh, cannon there. I use it uh, with the underhand grip. His missiles do come off, they are removable, and they can just slide right back on that notch. He's got that Python Patrol logo plastered right on his arm. It looks really nice. The weapon is a little bit gummy where the handle is, so it makes it a little tricky to get him uh, having a good grip on it. And my figure does have some trouble standing up, but if you get him in the right position, he looks pretty good. He is really loose. Now, I'm not sure if that's because he was in my mailbox for a while, and I live in South Florida where it gets really hot, so that might have something to do with it. I'm not sure. Um, it's just a little weird because my other uh, Heat Viper figure from the 50th anniversary has no problems like that, so I don't know if it's just me or if other people have the same issue. He does have that uh, shoulder harness with the uh, gun molded on the back. Let's take a look at his articulation. His head moves from side to side and uh, not much up and down movement really at all. His shoulders do a full 360. His elbows do a 90 degrees. His wrists do up and down and a full 360. And his other wrist bends, you know, that other direction. Moving down, he's got the uh, joint in the chest. Mine's pretty loose, unfortunately. Uh, his legs spread apart about so far. He's got double jointed knees. And his ankles will do a full 360 and with a slight bend at that joint in the ankle. Here he is compared with the 50th anniversary Heat Viper and what a difference a paint job makes. Uh, the one on the right looks uh, far more imposing than the bright yellow-orange of the guy on the left. At least that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. And let's look at the Lamprey. This one actually is the best of the bunch in my opinion. It's got a great paint scheme. Looks really nice. Here's his helmet, it's not removable. He's got that uh, translucent plastic over it and here it is without. His backpack has some cables that go into the helmet. They can pop out, which does limit his head movement a little bit. He's got the gold vest with some red detail. That red and black Python Patrol paint scheme Continues down his whole uniform. He got some gold knee pads, some gold boots, and some gold flippers. His feet do peg into the flippers on the bottom, and there's also a hole in the flippers which can go onto the pegs of the figure stand. So we can wear the flippers while he's standing on the figure stand. He's got his gray uh, rifle there and a smaller gray pistol. Now let's look at his articulation. His head moves from side to side, actually a pretty good movement considering he's kind of locked in with those cables in the back. His shoulders do a full 360. He does a 90 degree at the elbow. His wrists do a full 360. No other joint there. His chest has a joint in the midsection. His hips go, legs go far about that far and uh, he's got double jointed knees little further range of motion than the Heat Viper. His ankles do a full 360, and he's got that little ankle joint there. Now we have the Laser Viper. 
Uh, this guy uh, was a re-release, repaint of a previous convention exclusive. He's got the gold helmet. That same great paint scheme continuing on the figure. Lots of gold on this guy though. Shiny gold on the gloves and on the uh, gauntlets. Black boots there on the bottom. He's got his signature laser backpack with the two muzzles sticking out over his head. Lots of nice detail on the back with the cables wrapping around. He's got this other uh, weapon there that looks pretty good. He's also got that Python Patrol logo on his right sleeve and that uh, some nice shoulder or elbow pads there. Oh, and that helmet is really loose as we learned from the previous uh, figure. He has a gold holster on his left side and a really tiny pistol that can slide in pretty securely. His helmet is a tad loose. It's actually uh, really loose. His backpack is loose as well. Take that off. And so you can see it moves really easily on his head, but uh, you'll notice they went the extra mile and continued that paint scheme across the balaclava, which they didn't have to, and it, it looks really nice. Uh, unfortunately, the eyes are the same color as his eyebrows there, that brown, so I think most people will keep the helmet on anyway. And the uh, top guns on his backpack uh, do rotate and move up and down. Some nice motion considering they're hindered by those cables, but they go apart, come move about that far apart. Overall, I love the look of these guys. They look fantastic, very imposing, much better than the regular versions in my opinion. However, there was some stability issues with my Heat Viper and a couple of known issues with the Laser Viper. But overall, pretty good. What do you think about these guys? Let me know in the comments which one do you place in first, second, and third place. So now I'm going to show you guys the uh, file cards that came with the figures. You can go ahead and read those uh, if you want. And then that's going to do it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.